Okay, so the new Samsung Galaxy S23 series are finally out. And if you're like me, you probably noticed that the S23 Ultra and the S22 Ultra kind of look the same. But I'm going to share with you some differences that separate the S23 Ultra from the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra with some hands-on footage as well. Let's get right to it. Let's start with the design. The design from the outside looks almost similar to the S22 Ultra. But guys, check this out. The display on the top is kind of flatter. We have a flatter display on the top because we all like flat displays. That's because the curves on the sides have been reduced a bit. And also, this is where the upgrade comes in. Samsung has introduced their new Gorilla Glass 2 Victors, which is stronger, less prone to scratches, and gives you all the advantages of having premium glass on your phone for the front and the back. This is something you might not see, but you're definitely going to experience and feel when it comes to scratch resistance, how strong the screen is, and everything in that department. So for the design, it's almost the same, but we have a flatter display on the top, and we have a stronger glass build for the front and the back. So that is really cool. Now to the cameras. This is where you also see one of the big upgrades to the S23 series. We have a 200 megapixel main camera for the sensor in comparison to the 108 that was found in last year's iteration. And this comes with a whole lot of advantages advantages like two times wider OIS that is more stable images which is definitely going to be cool. The stabilization on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra was one of the best and this time around we are going to get two times that performance in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I definitely can't wait to try that out. And now we get 300 times hyperlapse astrophotography pictures capabilities due to that huge 200 megapixel sensor. This is supposed to be a game changer. Now we can take some amazing night nice shots with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This will interpret into better low light pictures when it comes to the S23 Ultra. You can get more details with less lights with your pictures. That is also supposed to be amazing. And we get 8K videos at 30 FPS. I know most of us don't use the 8K. Most of us never really use the 8K, but it's there if you want to use it. This is something that you should be enjoying that much. And also when it comes to the camera department, this time around you get 50 megapixel expert wall pictures from the cameras. That is really cool. This is a major upgrade in comparison to what we had in the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I really can't wait to compare both of them in-house when I get hands-on. And for the selfie cameras in the S23 Ultra, we have a 12 megapixel selfie camera, which will give us better HDR pictures from the sensor. Bigger sensors, better processing and all. Processing takes me to the performance. We have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. This is supposed to be one of the best chipsets that Samsung has produced right now for their mobile phone devices, which is going to give us the best performance when it comes to playing games, raw processing and everything like that. So this is one of the major upgrades in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. To also come out of the box with One UI 5.1 with some amazing integrations when it comes to your smart home devices and stuff, which I can't wait to try out also. So this and a few other features that differentiate this from the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Most other things are kind of like the same. It kind of feels like when Apple does a new phone, but just adds a few little things, but yeah, this is how this upgrade kind of feels like to me. So let me know what you think about this new release from Samsung, the S23 Ultra in comparison to the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Do you think this is worth the upgrade if you're coming from a Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. We're going to get some more detailed video when I get it in-house. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Peace. I'm out.